Okay, in this video today, I want to show you something that's pretty cool. This uh, is in Leonardo, and Leonardo, uh, what I've been told at least, runs on the Stable Diffusion platform, and so it's got a lot of really cool things that it can do, but also has some limitations, and sometimes those limitations come in the form of faces, but that's not what I was going to look at here today. What I wanted to look at is their real-time gen right here, so we're going to click on that. And we're going to open this up, and you can see I already had something in here. So let's take that back out. And what happens is as you start typing in here, it will start giving you whatever you typed, letter by letter, what it thinks you want. So if I just put in A, it's going to possibly give me something that looks like an A. Now, in this case, it didn't. It's an interesting picture. But let's just keep trying this. Here we got another A. And what I can do is I can just come over here and click on Random Seed, and it'll keep giving me... Uh, more representations of the singular letter I put in there, A, and if I put in B, I'm going to get exactly the same thing. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's uh, go to the next part here. I'm going to say a steampunk. So we're going to say S, and as I put in S, now we got two, two letters so far, and it starts giving me a picture of this woman. I have no idea why, uh, but it thinks it means something. So S T E A M. And you see sometimes it'll like show you something and then it'll kind of switch it out. So if you type really fast, it just kind of flies all over. So we're just going to say a steampunk. So here we got a picture of a steampunk. Now, I had generated this before and gotten this guy as a steam pump and then a uh, steam punk I should say and then I said up here creative upscale I clicked on that and that's not the picture I was looking for um, let me see if I can get out of here and click out of that this is what it gave me right here this woman right here so it took this guy over here <coughs> and I said creative upscale and it did this now in this case here this is a good-looking face It's not all distorted and whatnot but we still have a problem with the hand over here we got way too many fingers on that hand and otherwise it really cleaned this up because here you got a hand that's disconnected from just about everything here looks like some eyeglasses on the side of his face and there's something sticking out of his mouth there which that would probably be okay but this and then you know this kind of is just kind of interesting as um, I forget what kind of picture you call that where you got like different parts of things but otherwise uh, it kind of gives you a cool result but let's go back over here so I said a steampunk but then let's put in Zeppelin Z E P P E L so I'm just typing slowly here just to see what it looks like. Oh, I think that was supposed to be, uh, what's the lead singer of Led Zeppelin? Um, I forget, Roger Daltrey, is that his name? Uh, no, he's somebody else. Um, that's the who. Um, so here we got a steampunk Zeppelin. We got some, uh, some buildings in the background there. Let me see. So let's put in here on a busy, I'm just going to type faster now. London Street, and let's say filled with horses, carriages, and people. And as you can see, every single letter, it gives me something different. Now, is this what I'm looking for? Why would a Zeppelin be riding on the back of this carriage? I have no idea. But we can click on our random seed, and we can keep giving us something different. I keep looking for where's the Budweiser uh, horses we had there for a second. Uh, so this is giving me some really weird results. And I wonder why, because I had this working a minute ago. You saw when I first came in here, I should have just copied out that prompt. Um, London Street. And... Uh 
Okay, this is more of what I was looking for. A steampunk Zeppelin flying high over a busy London street filled with horses, carriages, and people. So now we can keep hitting our random button here, and we'll uh, see other ones that we can have here to work with. And so it's pretty cool street scene. And then you got all kinds of other settings here. You can I have this set right now to none, but we can come up here and let's just say we want this to be photography. So it's going to give me something more like akin to a photograph, even though it didn't really seem to change a whole lot there. Let's see uh, here, dynamic. That one I found gave some good results. And we can click our seed button again and see a whole bunch of different stuff. Problem is once you uh, click the seed button, I'm pretty sure they go away. None of this is stored anywhere. And so you just can play around with this here. And then you have other options as well. Let's make this a painting. So we have other options up here. We can do coloring book. A lot of these things, I really don't know what these settings are. And frankly, as I move these things around here, they really kind of gave weird results. So, I mean, like, there's a lot of things I like about Leonardo, and there's a lot of things I really don't like about Leonardo, but um, all of these things are in their infancy, really. In some ways, a year from now, we'll look back and, and laugh about... Uh, how primitive some of these uh, AI tools were compared to what they're going to be a year from now. And so, like I said, you can get all kinds of different randomized stuff here. And then you got to try to figure out which one are you going to use because there's so many that are so good. And like I said, then you just can hit here on creative upscale and then you can go to your personal feed and come over here. Now, this image right over here, this is the one that I did of this here. So let's uh, actually open this up and we'll open that. Oops, okay. Now here's where the problem I really have with these is look at the faces in here. So this is the creative upscale on this one and that's what these guys' faces look like. Here is the original picture and their faces aren't any better in here. In fact, their faces are just completely blurred out. There's really nothing showing on there at all. But on the other hand, we had this face here that looked pretty good. And we had um, this other gal right here, where this one here actually looks really good, except for the hand. Um, this is great, but here's one of the problems with this one here is, uh, like if you're in mid-journey, you can go in and say, okay, let's regenerate this, uh, but we'll come in here with the infill tool and work on the hand. Now, does uh, um, Napoleon have this? Napoleon, Leonardo, I mean, does it have that capability? It probably does. But this wasn't meant to be anything more than showing you this really cool tool. Like I said, it's called Real-Time Gen, and you find it right over there. Have a great day.